first thing I'm going to do is I wanted to read what some of our community values are. And this comes from the People's Plan. Our community values, core beliefs, which guide all of our plans, actions of our community and members. <coughs> we teach our children mutual respect for each other and each tribe. To be successful, we must formally educate ourselves while retaining our culture. We honor individual rights and protect our treaty rights. Strong families create a healthy community. Our community needs stable, visionary, qualified leadership. Listen and use wisdom of elders and religious leaders. Encourage the bright hopes that reside with our young. We commit resources needed to encourage long-term economic growth. We create an environment for self-sufficiency and well-being. Each member involved in decisions strengthens our community foundation. At all costs, membership commit to support the protection of all tribal lands. Next, I'd like to read from the section in the People's Plan on Tribal Council. Community vision. We, the people of the Confederated Tribes of Warm Springs, since time immemorial, carry forth the inherent rights of sovereignty and spirituality through unity and respect for the land, water, each other, and the many gifts of, by the Creator. Community goals. Our tribes work together to protect treaty and other rights, tribal values, and sovereignty. We preserve, protect, and enhance our cultural, environmental, and natural resources. The Tribal Council's primary responsibility is to carry out the objectives of the Constitution and bylaws, which, which includes promotion of our advancement, protection of our treaty rights, resources, and sovereignty. As our leaders, council mem members make the key decisions, such as authorizing referendums on behalf of the people. Since 1983, the council's actions have led to the achievement of the Health and Wellness Center, early childhood education, the museum at Warm Springs, elders care, assisted living, and the development of the Indian Head Casino, among a number of other projects. Without the council's leadership, the vision and goals and benchmarks would be very difficult to achieve. The Tribal Council is our governing body, which includes the responsibility for executive, legislative, judicial, and corporate aspects of our tribal government. So with that, I would like the elected council members to come up for their swearing in an oath of office. And um, if you would, uh, stand in the sun so that uh, people can get a picture of you. <laughs> Mr. Jody Kalika. Mr. Eugene Green. Mr. Ronald Suppa. Valerie Switzler. Karina Miller. Raymond Sumpty. And Mr. Lee Tom.
So after I say I, I'm going to need you to say your name and read after me the oath of office for tribal council. Can you raise your right hand, please? I do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies carry out the faith and impartially the duties of my office to the best of my ability, and cooperate, promote, and protect the best interests of my tribe in accordance with the tribal constitution and bylaws. Congratulations.